In this video, we'll be setting up a simple HTTP server in Java using IntelliJ IDEA. So we'll just start with opening up our IDEA and let's go ahead and create a new project. By the way, I'm using the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition. So there might be some feature that, uh, that like if you are using Community Edition, that you won't be getting those. But for the sake of this video, I won't be using some advanced features. So we are good to go. All right. So coming to this new project, we'll uh, let's name that name this project as Simple Server. We'll leave all the other setting as default. For example, the language will be Java, and the build system will be using Maven. And I'm currently using java 17 and we'll check the add sample code and go ahead and create this okay so we'll be getting this page with our sample code so this is our main function uh, from which we'll be running our server all right so let's just uh, hit run and see if things are working depending on your system it will Take a, it will take some time to compile. So uh, yeah, I'm getting this hello world. So yeah, things are working fine. Now let's uh, move to creating our simple server. So the idea is to use there is a inbuilt library which is called STTP server. It's provided by the Sun the packet Sun. So uh, we just type STTP server. And we'll make use of this method. Okay, this great thing. This great thing. Let's create one inet socket address. Uh, this is where you will provide your local host because we'll be running the server locally. That's why I need to provide the local host here. And let's say we want to run this server on port. What should we say? Let's say 4040. It's, it is also expecting one more uh, parameter, which is called backlog. So this backlog is kind of a, assume it as a queue. So let's say your, your web server is getting five requests, requests right? So your web server won't be able to handle all those five requests at the same time. So what the OS does is it puts all the, your requests in a queue and then dequeue it, dequeue the request and pass one request at a time to the uh, to your server. This backlog specify the size of that queue, more or less in simple terms. So if I'm saying the backlog to be zero, it means that there won't be any queue. Whatever the request is coming, your server will, will uh, serve it and will give you the response right away. Okay. It means that if you are sending five requests simultaneously, only one request uh, will be served. Right now, let's see what the uh, what is the exception that it is given. It's saying unhandled exception. Right just simply need to uh, throw exception maybe let's i exception here and it will go now every http server needs the path for example on which uh, path you would like your request to go so let's say we want to create our context to slash movies path so it means that when we'll go to let's say stp localhost five uh, four zero four zero slash movies we'll be greeted with some uh, text right okay. now what we will be greeted with we will define it in a handler Let's uh, leave this for now. Let's say none. Let's set it none. 
for, for now we'll implement it in shortly right this http server also need needs like uh, a thread you need to just provide it uh, set executor this executor will require a thread pool executor and we can simply create an executor using our executor class executors and just provide it a single thread executor this is the executor which will you know uh, take the request process it and uh, give you the response we are just uh, we are only making use of a, a single thread executor uh, if you want you can have multiple executors as well like uh, use an option for that check mm -hmm. i think that is new fixed thread pool and here you can define how many threads you want in there it's it's okay with this also you can you can use this as well but for simplicity let's uh, stick with the single thread executor for now and after that we simply need to start our server we're not done yet we also need to define our handler which we uh, left at the early stage so let's in the main point in the main class only we'll be uh, defining our handler let's call it uh, it will be a class let's call it simple http server or maybe like since we are dealing with movies let's call let's call it let's call it movie handler and it needs to implement http handler because this script context it is expecting a http handler right so we just need to implement that interface and the idea intelligent idea will give us this implement method just follow this step and you will be given this now we have to override this handle so this is where we will compose what our server will send back so before moving forward i would like to tell you a little bit about the http methods so so in our case the primary or most commonly used uh, http methods are post get put patch and delete now these methods corresponds to the things like this time so it will be easy for you this post thing is used whenever you want to create something this get is used whenever you want to read something. Put is used whenever you want to update something. And delete is used as an interface whenever you want to delete something. You can see it's like something similar to what we have as cred. There are other methods uh, as well, but they are really used. Okay. So in the, in in, the, in our uh, simple web server, we won't be using uh, post, but delete, and all these things. We'll be just taking with, oops, we'll be just taking with the uh, read. Okay. So if if whatever the exchange equals whatever the exchange request method is is equals to get then we'll do something send something interesting to the user otherwise we'll just uh, leave it as it is for us to send back some response to the client of the web browser we need to write in output stream this exchange has a response body which will which is nothing but an output stream and here only we need to write our uh, so this exchange has a method called get response body which returns us this output stream and we need to write our uh, message in this output stream okay now how we'll do that we can let's say let's create a string which says uh, response to be sent back it 
let's say hello from the other side okay so the most important point is to send a response header back to the drone and if you miss it you will get an error call error empty response in the browser so first we need to do is to send the response header back to the client and we can do this using exchange dot send response headers we need to tell our client that the request has been processed successfully by this 200 code and the response that we are sending will be of this much length this is quite uh, needed after that we'll be writing this response in our output stream using write method we'll simply write response to be sent back dot get bytes now there is one uh, common practice uh, whenever you want to send your message back to client it is a good practice if you encode it but since we are making a simple server and it is running on our local host uh, this step is unnecessary but just to be on the safe side always encode your response okay after writing the response back to the output stream we need this stream to be flushed and then we'll just close it close okay. i have set these breakpoints so as to give you a better idea how this server works okay what we will do is we'll simply run this whole application in debug mode to get a better picture of what is going behind the scenes so when will this uh, start this it will come to this the server hasn't started yet so if you if we go to the let's open our browser and go to localhost 4040 and see if anything is running if we go on localhost 4040 because the server hasn't started yet it will take forever to load let's move ahead and after starting the server now the server is ready let's again open the browser yeah now we are greeted with this 40401 because because we are only sending our message when the user goes to slash movie spam other than that we do not know let's see what happens when we go to movies path we come to this when we go to the movies path this handler is called and this handler since we are using whenever a browser uh, request we are requesting this slash movies uh, path so it makes use of get method and if we inside this method currently it's not showing anything because we have we are not we haven't sent anything at all so if we just run this thing okay let's get back we get this response hello from the other side and a simple server is like up and running now you can what uh, now what you can do is you can also add different methods for example you can go ahead and uh, write let's say little say okay let me just close stop this you can write this as if and you can use put method and see if the exchange equals Exchange request method equals the put, and you can write your logic here. And same goes with the post method. But for this video, I think uh, get is something 
much simpler to explain and that is what the main goal of this video was so summing it up we so we created a simple web server which we ran at localhost port 4040 we learned about uh, how to set executors and we then started our server and we also wrote our own handler whenever a person goes to slash movies let's say you can also have a different uh, handler for example if someone wants to hmm let's say holidays and you can create your own holiday handler here you also then just simple simply create one more class public static class uh, holiday handler and so on this needs to implement HTTP handler and that's it implement those methods right you can just simply copy paste it change the response and you'll be having two plans i think that will be it for this video i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next one thank you